I felt like screaming and shouting and kind of going, everybody, everybody, this is my child, this is my child. <coughs> the mothering instinct is one of the unfathomable mysteries of life. The Madonna and Child have been portrayed by artists down the centuries, from Michelangelo to Picasso. I felt like a less of a, a woman, because, I mean, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. But Madonna and Child apart, what we do know about the mothering instinct is that after a certain age, a woman begins to feel her biological clock ticking away, and a man's wish to procreate asserts itself. So what happens if a couple can't conceive? I want to have a child because he has a very large family. I'm from a very small family, but you know, everybody when they see us, they'll say, what are you all waiting for? Why are you not having a baby as yet? What is wrong with you? You know, you'll hear negative little things from people, like people say nasty things, you know. If a couple fail to have a child after a year of regular intercourse, they're defined as being infertile. Nancy and her husband tried for four years. They claim to have faced an insensitive and incompetent crop of doctors who performed surgery that didn't help, gave her drugs that made her ill. The report came back and he said, uh, no wonder you can't get pregnant, you don't have any reproductive organs. So I looked at him and I said, what nonsense are you talking? How do you mean I have no reproductive organs? I mean, I, I have my period every month and I never, I don't remember consciously taking out anything, you know. The infertility rate is as high as 15%. Conception is a tricky business and possible only 12 hours in a month. In a study, out of 100 couples, only 60 conceived in six months and 75 conceived in one year. And here's another misconception. The woman comes in here very reluctantly because her husband has told her she has to come in here because the fault is hers. In many instances, it's usually thought that infertility is a woman's problem. But what we have found is far more frequently it's a man's problem. And I think the feeling that it's even any, in any one person's problem is, is not justified. I think we have to look at this as a couple's problem, both man and woman is involved. They can't blame one another. It can be any reason why the woman you know, can't get pregnant. Sometimes in many cases the man tends to blame the woman and says, you are the one I know because I have children outside. And, or sometimes they may think they have a child outside or some woman may have told them this and it may not necessarily be so because when you check the sperm count it's very low, you know. Doctors use an index of fertility, which is higher in some couples than in others, which is why some people can have dozens of children, while others only one or two or none. Infertility can be treated here and may be referred abroad once the cause is determined. We can then identify, and particularly in either male or female partners, and we can boost the infertility by giving drugs, depending on the cause of the infertility. We can give drugs in the case of a woman, woman to boost her infertility, to, to make the overall fertility index of that couple significantly greater and thereby allow her to have the number of children she would like. And the same applies to the male. The causes vary from a low sperm count, a woman producing antibodies to her partner's sperm, and blocked tubes. But 10% of infertility remains unexplained. We have to admit that in many instances science cannot help um, some women, you know, in spite of, of all the technology we have. In this case, technology worked. Drugs administered to Nancy over four months yielded fruit. And the girl typing it up and putting it in the envelope after the test was done. And I said, well, you know, she didn't have, she had no idea. Mm -hmm. I said, she was probably told I had five children already. So I said, I said, well, well, she said, well, positive, you're pregnant. And I jumped up and down in that room and I carried on. And I ran all the way, I ran to the car, and jumped in the car and I said, oh my God, I can't believe this. She came to me very, very um, concerned and, and depressed in that she wanted a child desperately and she was told that um, you know she might she might as well forget about having babies because she's unable she would never be able to conceive. We then found the cause uh, was due to a hormonal imbalance and uh, she subsequently conceived after four months of three to four months of um, of, of, of therapy. The joy of childbirth was shared equally by the father. He looked at her and he said, look at how this little thing has me all wrapped up. 99% of couples who have been defined as being infertile have hope of having a child someday. 
It can be expensive, and there may be moments of despair. But where there's hope, there's life. Trust in God and find a good doctor, and a doctor that believes in you, who knows your body, and who knows what they are doing. Ira Mathur, TV6 News, with a special report.